finally got my super undirectional condenser mic. Uh, it came with the package open. Even for me to video this, I had to tape it back up. But just to show you a little bit, I had to put a piece of tape here. And it came all open like that. So let me document this just in case something is wrong with it. So let's do an unboxing. It comes in this case here. Move this out of the way. A little plastic case. Don't really sit well. Uh, I thought that was a microphone. I mean a, a magnet here, but it just got a little whole slice cut here. So let's come, see what comes in it. Come with the directions, instruction manual, which tells you the frequency range here. Uh, room frequency. Come with his own cable here. I don't know how quite long it is. The pop filter, a dead cat. Well, this ain't really a dead cat, I'd say pop filter. Uh, come with the mounting stand with the screws in it. That'll be handy on my mic stand. This is really why I bought this thing, because it has this that sets on the camera and you can unibody it. That's one of the real reasons I bought that. Because it has this little square plate here. And let's see what we all come to see here. Now the mic itself is made out of good materials. I can feel that it that is aluminum. Got its on and off switch. Uh, got different direction on that it can pick up. Uh, great design for the chrome, little chrome pieces in here. XLR plug. Let's open it up and see. Okay, we got the AA battery that goes in it. So the mic itself feels good, but the case, eh, just enough to put it in there and the sponge to hold it. This, it, for what I paid for it though, I, I need to quit complaining. Cause this mic was only 20 bucks for everything you see here. I paid 20 bucks just for the wire here, so guess I need to shut up on that part. Oh, it comes with the adapter to plug it into your camera. Which, that's a neat feature. I like the stereo adapter. And even this cable here, I, I got the stereo cable to plug in my camera, so I make sure both sides is on. You can do that in post, but that just more work, so I just get this XLR and put it on the uh, stereo microphone cable. Makes it a lot easier for me to do that. This is what it's going to look like when you put it on a mic stand. Looks good. But you don't buy a mic for looks, you buy it for sound. Later on in this video, we'll give you some sound tests. I'll plug the mic into the camera and let you hear how it sounds directly. I'm going to get my stereo plug so you can hear the difference. All right, now I got it. the mic plugged up. Let me stand in front of it. See what it sounds like. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Let me back up a little bit. Testing, testing, testing. So this is what you're hearing now. 
is the mic plugged up directly into my sound system. My things here look like it's a little low, so let me switch it to the other tile settings. So it came to just the left side when I did the tile settings. Let me turn the mic towards me and see what that do. This is a test of the microphone sound to see how it comes out. Hopefully it's good. Now let me see what my camera is set up at. Change out the mic plug. And this one, this this card here I bought with something else here that's got the stereo mic. I'd recommend this. So let me stop this on the camera mic. Now this is the difference of what that sounds like. Let me turn it on. This is the difference that this mic sounds like with a uh, stereo mic in it. I mean a stereo card. I can see on the the camera itself that everything is working properly like it should and picking up the signals like it should. Let me go stand right here. Um, um, let, let me give you a distance test. Okay. Um, three feet away. I'm four feet away. I'm ten feet away. And I'm um, fifteen foot away. And right here I'm twenty feet away. So this will tell you how the sound comes out. Twenty. Ten. Five. And two. Now if you had that mic over you, you would have a clear sound like this. This is about the distance that it would be over your head. Now let's put the mic over my head and see what it sounds like. Right here I got the microphone plugged up with it over my head shot. Most people put it up over your head that you're supposed to get the better sound. So we will see if this sounds better up over my head. This test will be with the microphone up under me to see how it sounds up under you. So, with the, let me take the dead cat off. Do that make a difference when the pop filter. This is a close up look at this condenser mic. It has a nice feel of the hand and it's well built. I was surprised to find that it came with its own pop filter. Just some of the ways that it would look on the back of a 35 millimeter camera. As you can see, it's pointed towards your subject and you should be able to get good sound from this mic. This stereo plug I'm showing you here does not come with this mic, but is a recommended replacement of the one that do come with it.